Hey guys! I'm so excited to be showing you the following charms that I made the week before Christmas. It was a dream come true for me since I never actually made chibi characters from an anime or manga before. The chibis are all characters from a series called Death Note. When I told my friends about what I had made and posted the pictures on my Facebook profile, they liked them so much that I gave all of the chibis away except for Misa Misa, the blonde haired girl. I used pictures of actual chibi characters that you can buy online as a reference. The first one I made is a character called Elf. He always wears a white shirt with blue pants and is always barefoot and chewing on his thumb or something. He's got a little dirt on his back though. I like how he tilts his head. I meant to attach an earring hoop to his head, but my friend, who is a guy, liked him so much that I didn't turn him into an earring. So the stud that goes along with the chibi is kind of useless now. The ink of the pen I used kind of melted, though. The next one I made is Misa Misa. I tried this new technique for her hair and I really liked how that turned out. It is all textured. The only thing I dislike about her is her broad chest. Next time I do a female chibi I will pay more attention to the width of the torso. But her dress looks really nice and so do her eyes. Elf's eyes are made out of clay entirely, but hers are painted on using white and blue acrylic paint and a waterproof black ink pen. Now this is just a simple death note where Misa Misa and a character named Yagami Light put in names to kill criminals. It's got textured pages, which you can't really see unfortunately, sorry about that, and it is all glazed. It goes together with Shinigami Death God Ryuk, this blue guy. Now this is my absolute favorite charm of this update. He has this huge smile and his eyes are made out of clay entirely, so they are three dimensional. I made every one of his hair spikes using my silicone brush and I had to bake the charm several times in between so I wouldn't deform any of his hair. It's a little glittery, which is kind of cool. Also note the details. His little wings, which hopefully won't come off. And then he's wearing his little cape and skirt thingy, which has a belt. The only thing missing is his chain earring with a heart, which would have been too small to attach. This last character I'm showing you is Yagami Light. He's just an extraordinarily intelligent high school student and is always wearing his uniform. A friend of mine made the head and the eyes and I then attached his hair and the rest of him. <laughs> so there's the jacket that he wears over a simple white shirt and also his red necktie. He wears grey pants and a black belt. All of the chibis are secured with a wire that runs through their entire body and forms a hoop on the top of their heads, except for Light because my friend wanted him to be a figurine. Okay, I hope you like the charms. I really want to do tutorials on them, so please request the character that you like best. But exams are coming up, so I probably won't be able to make tutorials like in the next one or two months or so. Also, let me know what anime or manga is your favorite. Which other character chibis would you like me to make? If I know the series, I'd be more than happy to make chibis. Happy New Year, everyone!